It is time for action. The next three days of trekking through the mountains. And uh, I'm super excited about this. I'm getting to go with an amazing crew and can't wait. Porfi, donde vamos? Where are we going today? Actually, you are going down to after the bridge. We need to climb this mountain. That ridge, that's only like 3,000, 4,000 feet up. Yes, yes, <laughs> only. <laughs> only, only. So how long do you think it'll take us? Five hours. Five hours? You want to lead the way? Yeah. You're the, the guide. Vamos. We're at about 10,500 feet, so I can really feel the elevation up here already. I cannot explain to you how much I love it out here. It feels so good. The, the climate is amazing. The mountains, the river, the bird life that's all around me. It's just truly incredible. So this trek is not for anyone because it's, it's kind of tough, but it's, it's great. People who like to trek, people, people who like the mountains, it is uh, something very special, very unique. Across a beautiful bridge, mind-blowing. It's kind of like the first introduction to, hey, you're hiking in the Andes here. The trail goes up from there, and immediately it dawns on me, oh no, this is gonna be tough. I'm feeling it. We have come up a long ways. We're at 11,600 feet here, uh, which we've actually been kind of flattening out, but we're entering into a new canyon, and the biome here is totally changing. Uh, it's way more tropical and lush, a lot more vegetation, it's a lot wetter in here. Uh, so it's a fascinating place, just seeing the way that these mountains change. We're going up this valley, and to my right, I just see these amazing peaks come around the bend. This natural form, the place named Uno Saminchana. They tried to make like a temple here. Really? Yeah, like a, like a Ushno, we usually call it like that. The so, main place, the Uno Saminchana. What is, do you know what that means? Like a temple of the water. Temple of the water. Temple of the water. Yeah. That's the window. This room, they already make it like a some sacred place for the water. I see camp in the distance. This isn't the backpacking trip that I take with some buddies back home. There is a huge team that makes this happen because this is a luxury experience out here in a way. This is high class uh, trekking out here. Ah, muchas gracias. So I'm just setting up my tent. We made it up really high. We're up at almost 13,000 feet. And uh, the pass that's behind me is actually our objective for tomorrow. And uh, call it a night, get some good sleep tonight. We are setting off through this valley. So you can see back behind me, our Porter crew that is working to move camp, but we're actually taking a different route. We are on the old Inca trail right now. You can see some of this incredible stonework. So I think one of the ideas that people have is that there's only one Inca trail and it's the, the trail that you take to Machu Picchu. Many Inca trails is connecting with each place, each town of Peru and well connecting with Chile, Bolivia. Ecuador, Colombia, and part of Argentina. It's amazing how durable these trails are, that these are hundreds of years old, and we can still be going along these mountain passes, and it's still in great shape. It didn't dawn on me until we began really trekking how high we really had to go over the Chocatecarpa Pass. Oh my goodness. This is one of the most incredible places I've ever trekked. Wow. Woo! Well, well done. Bien hecho. Gracias, Bien gracias, hecho. amigos. I want to say something probably in my language. Yes, please. Anchata año anchay kuiki apu choketa carpo. Kai suma anchay pichaski kuas kai kita. Kadiyata hinayata puri disaku ya paiku. Anchata año anchay kiku. It was very touching. It allowed me to see the personal side of Porfi and his true connection that he's had to this landscape, into this place, into this history. He does a ceremony to kind of honor the, the Apu, the mountains, to ask for permission to go through the mountain pass with safety. What else can you say other than that it's the literal high point, the emotional high point? It is the highlight of the trail, and I couldn't help but tear up and get emotional, and it, it was deeply moving for me. Experience of a lifetime, that's for sure. Whew. 
So we're leaving camp this morning. We've got about two hours of hiking ahead of us. And the goal for today is to actually get to a place called Vilcos, which is an archeological site that uh, we've been trekking to this whole time, going through these amazing mountain passes. And we're dropping back into kind of where people still live today. So we're passing through current villages on our way to an ancient village. So this is the Inca technology in action right now. Tractor. A tractor, yeah. This is the ancestral tractor. Yeah, <laughs> the ancestral tractor. That's great. Ooh, wow. <laughs> A lot of eggs this morning. There you go. You still remember? Yeah, just to remember. I got it like Okay. Go aquí y por aquí. Okay. The first job I had actually with my brothers, it was being a farmer. Looking this guy using this tool almost make me cry and be nostalgic because each corner around here, it is my life. I like the house, the, the smell, smell of the smell earth. Of the earth. Yeah. Yurak Rumi. Yurak Rumi. But actually, the locals call it Yurak Rumio. This is one of the most important place or this kind of rock we have here. Yurak Rumi, it's white rocks, main uh, ceremonial temple. We are one of the small towns. The families being a transportation uh, products. So this would be like a trade route. Is that a unique shape, the, the circle with the doorway? The circle is mean like uh, the relations going with the Mother Earth. Oh, okay. okay. Climbing the mountain, hiking the Inca trails, and show the people around the world all these places. I really love it, and still many mysteries in our life, in our ancestral life. I'm being passionate to show the world all these places around us. The last place, our last Inca, Manco Inca, who refugiated in this area. We already arrived now in Vicos. Vicos. Or Icapata, after the Spaniards arrived in Cusco. Our last Inca, Manco Inca, it was the last place who arrived here and take this area like a refuge. We can appreciate here yeah. this construction. It's originally and classic for Inca Empire. This kind of door, it's going in a special place like a royal buildings yeah. or the Son Temple. But we are now in the main plaza, but this, all these ruins or all these buildings could be yeah. the royal houses. Well, we've done it. We've made it to Vicos. The end of our trek is here. And honestly, this is just an incredible place to wrap up an amazing few days in the mountains. We've come down a long way from the high pass. We're actually not too far from Machu Picchu and it feels like Machu Picchu here, except this place is totally empty. It's just an amazing place to wrap up our journey here with Apamayo Expeditions. They have been an incredible team to hike with and to learn from Porfi. I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. From the challenges of rugged high altitude passes to the camaraderie of hiking together and watching the clouds spill over the mountains, there's something beautiful about life on the trail. Pepe, Porfi, and the team here at Apu Mayo Expediciones have been such an influence on me through this adventure. Not only are they guides to travelers like me, but they are stewards, caring for the trail, the land, and the people. The Cusco region is world famous, and rightfully so. Its rich past, remarkable landscape, and colorful culture is an experience to behold.